Hi guys, it's me, Thirstastic Mom, and today I want to do a quick review for you, showing you my O Cedar Spin Mop. I bought this thing about two weeks ago, and I've used it three or four times now, and I really love this thing. There's not too much about it I don't like. So I will show you all of that in detail in this review, just in case you are thinking about buying you one or you know have just wondered how good they work or whatever you may want to run out and get you one it's really a good mop to me i love it now some people prefer you know the steam mops or whatever and that's fine too but i love this mop uh i got this mop at walmart it was 29.99 something like that which was cheaper i actually went to walmart looking for the hurricane spin mop but they were out of them so they had these o cedar spin mops in the place in you know in place of them so i picked me one of these up and it was only like 29.99 so it was actually ten dollars cheaper pretty much for the same mop just a different name so let me get into the review so I can show you how it works and I'll explain to you what I'm doing as I go and all that good stuff and kind of let you see how it works. Okay guys, as you see this is the mop and bucket. It is a pretty nice size bucket. It's lightweight. It works really good. It has the spinner here. It has a pedal on the side of it and it's a pretty nice setup. It's really sturdy. It also has a handle here to pick it up with. It's pretty, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty lightweight bucket. This is the actual mop, and it has these white microfiber um, strings here on it, which is nice. This is what the underside looks like. It's just, and this is, this part here actually goes down onto, this part here actually goes down onto the uh, spinner part in the bucket but this is what the bottom of the mop looks like and it's pretty wide I've used it about four times it comes really clean when you wash with it and it's just a pretty looking mop I think it also has this rectangle shape to it so you can get in corners with it when you're mopping so it works fairly fairly good I think I think the only thing I don't like about it is this joint is a little stiff here so sometimes you have to manually pop it up straight because when you go to put it in your spinner if your mop isn't totally down in that spinner straight it will sling water all over you i know it's i slung it all over my legs because i didn't put it down in there straight let me show you how this thing works now now as you can see inside the bucket here there's a little sign here it says max that is your maximum line you really don't have to have a lot of water in it i had put just enough water in it to cover the mop and it was it worked fine but that shows that kind of indicates your max um line there that's showing not to put in more than that because you don't want it to be higher than your spinner okay guys as you can see i did not even put my water all the way up to the max line i put just enough to cover my mop that's really all you need and now i'm going to stick my dry mop in you see how nice and white and clean the mop is i'm just going to stick it in the water i put just a little soap a little bit of pine saw in the water there this is supposed to be a no leak mop which it is if you spin it out good I guess if you just pull it right out like that of course it's going to leak but as long as you spin it out good like you're supposed to follow the directions and it does not leak I have tried it it has not leaked on me not dripped on my feet or anything so you just pull it out of the water and just stick it straight make sure it's straight straight down into your spinner now if it's sitting like this this is where i have the problem with see just moving it i cannot get it to straighten up on its own because of that join in it so a lot of times i have to come down here and push it straight that's the problem that i don't like about it it's as fast as you want. It's actually a good workout. 
it, that dries it out. And you can still hear the soap in it, so it's still wet and it's not dripping water. So, let me move this out of the way. And I'm just going to kind of show you how it mops on the floor here. Maybe over time, after I use it a little while, that that joint right in here that's a little stiff, maybe it'll loosen up so it ain't as hard to, you know, keep it where it'll bend the way you want it to. But that's pretty much it. I mean, it mops good. It cleans up good. You can, you know, leave it, don't spin it much and leave it more wet. But the more wet you leave it, you know, it is going to leak a little. Drip, whatever you want to call it. But that is pretty much it. Now I'm going to do a test on it and see how it's still in the bent position. So, when it's in, still in that bent position and you put it back in here, see, it's setting crooked. So that's where you kind of have to push it, straighten it up. That's the part I don't like about it. Just like that. But anyway, do a little rinse. Come over here. You just barely hold on to the bar just kind of let it spin freely in your hand it comes out nice nice and ready to be used now I want to try like what they show on the reviews I've seen they've had really messy floors so here's some ketchup Somebody had a mess. They spilled ketchup everywhere. Oh no. The mustard got jealous. It had to come out too. So there we have ketchup and mustard on our floor. Now let's see what this mop will do to it. It's a mustard kind of stinks. <laughs> but anyway, as you see, it's cleaning it right up. Cleaning it right up. Now this is what my mop looks like. It's kind of yellow and red and dirty. See there? Yellow and red and dirty from getting the ketchup and stuff up. Now, let's dunk it and get it clean. Dunk it in the water a few times here. Still got some red and yellow on it. Let's see how it works. Okay, this is ketchup and mustard. Look, my mop's not totally clean. And that's with soap, water, and pine saw. So it didn't take all of the dirt out. Which I don't normally have to clean up a mess like that. But this is microfiber. It's supposed to pick it up and then spin it out. Soak up your mop good. Stick it in your spinner. As you can see, it's still got some stain because ketchup and mustard is what I mopped up. 
so it's still stained but it feels pretty good it feels pretty clean so it ain't totally white the good thing about this is you can take them off and wash them up to about 10 times and then they they say you need to buy you a new one after that but they can be took off and washed so that's a good thing but as you see as the other reviews show on TV and stuff that I've watched they come out perfectly white and clean every time but as you can see it hasn't it's still got ketchup and mustard on it but you know normally I don't have big ketchup mustard spills like that so I'm not really worried about that because it can be washed and cleaned and it you know it's no problem for me it's getting a little cleaner as I wash it but it's still stained but you know I don't normally mop like that where there's ketchup and mustard all over my floor I just wanted to use that to show you that it don't always come clean like they say it does but anyway you know for your normal everyday mopping your floors it works great it stays clean it rings out good the spinner spins it out really good for you and you know it's a good mop I love it I love the bucket I love the spinner and it's just a great mop it does have its pros and it does have its cons but to me it's a good mop I like it, it keeps me from having to wring out the water and you can wash you know wash them because they will get dirty as you can see so let's spin it out it's kind of like a washing machine it spins the way it spins out and you see it's pretty it's pretty dry but I can can you hear that you can still feel you can still hear the soap sound in it but I noticed another thing about the mop is that it takes it a while to dry because I have hung it up sometimes I turn it upside down and let it dry and, and I checked on it the next day and it was still damp so it takes a good two days or more before it actually gets really good and dry and that's you know that's another thing I, I didn't really like about it because it takes too long to dry but it's still a good mop and it cleans good and the bucket works good as far as spinning it out and you don't have to wring it out so okay guys I hope y'all enjoyed this review on the O Cedar spin mop it is to me I give it like a four stars up it's a pretty good mop you see how it kind of worked on the big spill with the ketchup and mustard. It did kind of stain up the mop, but that was ketchup and mustard, you know. And mustard stains pretty good. But on your normal everyday mopping, this mop works great just to clean your floors. Because you don't normally have big spills like that. But anyway, it's a great mop. I love it. Just wanted to show you. Because the reviews I've seen, they show you that it cannot get dirty. And, you know, it picks up every... Uh, all nasty stuff I mean they had all kind of different nasty things on the floor and it picked up and it showed this perfectly clean mop well that isn't the case you know y'all know that so it can get dirty that's why they have it where you can wash it of course but everyday mop it's a great mop I love it and I would actually purchase it again you know if that one tore up and I needed to get another one so I love my spin mop and and I hope that if y'all have been thinking about getting one, try one. Go out, buy you the Hurricane Mop or the O-Cedar or whatever. You know, this is just my opinion. Nobody's paying me to talk about this mop or do a review on it. It's just my opinion because I bought me one and I wanted to show you guys. I've even had a couple of you guys even ask me to tell you how I like the mop. So that's what I was doing, just sharing you my opinion with the mop. So... I guess that is all for the review. I hope you enjoyed seeing my review. Y'all leave me some comments below. If you are thinking about getting one, let me know. Like up this review if you liked it. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.